All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game between WFZ and Focus taking place here on Northern Isle. Over here, we have Focus spawning as the blue orc player on the bottom left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, WFZ has spawned as the red undead. And for some reason, my Warcraft 3 did not load all of the proper, proper animations, thereby making it difficult to tell what building is what. All right, Altar of Darkness. This is a crypt. This is a ziggurat. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to cast along in this orc versus undead matchup. Now, what can I say about Orc versus Undead that I haven't said many, many, many times before? Uh, the openings of this particular matchup is really going to uh, boil down to the heroes and the particular strategies they want to try and execute. Over here on the bottom left, we still don't see a barracks yet, so it may be a Farseer or some other harassment hero into um, a quick tier 2. We're taking a look at this here, and we, if we have tier 2 before we have... Um, if we have tier 2 before we have a barracks, that is going to be a very fast tier 2, and I'm wondering what the follow-up strategy is going to be. So far, that does seem to be the case, going very heavy in this tech mode, and if he does tech to tier 2, he's not going to be able to defend himself his, if his opponent is going to try and attack. Fortunately for him, though, it looks like his opponent is going to be going for Crypt Fiends, which will be a little bit later than normal. Crypt Fiends do deal good damage to these Orc Burrows until the War Mill upgrade is completed for that fortified armor. Something that I really feel a lot of Orc players really need to have. Hey, thank you. Um, thank you for loving my channel. And, well, I, I love all of the viewers out there who make it possible for me to do my thing. The patron support, um, the views on YouTube. YouTube, the bits, the subscribers, all of that does definitely help out. So thank you for tuning in as we take a look over here to the top right. Death Knight going to make its way over and try to take down the No Warden here. No Warden, um, while well, taking a lot of damage already, the Skeletal Minions are trying to absorb as much of that as possible. And you can see that the Death Knight purposely wants to pull back as well. Uh, Death Knight taking a bit of a beating once more, taking some target practice from that Ice Troll, as we are going to see a Circuit of Nobility picked up and more, well, Rod of Necromancy coming across. Farseer, on the other hand, has taken out a relatively easy creep and now picked up some Sentry Wards. Very, very useful if you're trying to figure out where your opponent is. That's exactly what you're looking for as the Death Knight now comes in from the far side. All right, Death Knight Spirit Wolves being resummoned damage onto that Death Knight. Death Knight cannot afford to absorb too much damage here. It will just be superficial and really no reason to deal damage to the Wolves or anything else. Death Coil to steal or get that little bit of experience, but that's really not a resource loss for that Farseer. Skeletal Minions here are going to start to evaporate as the Death Knight now needs to play it a little bit more carefully. Wow. In the... Uh, yeah, you're the first person I subbed to. Definitely. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, what I will say about the Undead versus Orc matchup is that Undead generally is able to creep much quicker once it has Tier 2 out. Crypt Fiends, that Lich, those Obsidian statues, and all of a sudden the, uh, the leveling of the Undead really goes up astronomically. Even if an Undead player is only sitting at level 1 compared to say a level 3 Archmage or Archmage, all of a sudden, once the Crypt Fiends, that Lich, and those Obsidian statues are out, they're, they seem to be able to just accelerate their creeping so quickly and make up for so much lost time and lost ground. Death Knight coming across here, taking a little bit more damage. Once again, already down to 431 hit points. Farseer is not that much better, but at the same time, Farseer only has 475 max as the Death Coil finishes off another unit. Death Knight still sitting at level 1 right now, hoping to get to level 2. As you can see, this spe Feral Spirit Wolf if it gets attacked, it could see a follow-up Death Coil right there. Skeletal Minions may try to finish it off, and now the Death Knight does have level 2, has Unholy Aura. Is it going to Death Coil to get that little bit of experience? No, it is not. Meanwhile, back at home, Focus has taken this opportunity to go for double Bestiaries, and he is constructing that War Mill. 
that all important、um, upgrade to prevent piercing and magic damage from dealing full damage on or bonus damage onto the orc boroughs has become a necessity. I don't see enough orc players using、um, the or utilizing that upgrade at tier two now instead of tier three, as it definitely does help. Back off to the north, Spirit Wolf still putting in a lot of pressure. Crypt fiends being forced to retreat. Death Knight does have unholy aura, so those crypt fiends are able to move significantly faster back home. And also with regeneration on Blight, sitting at 250 hit percent regeneration, you can see that natural regeneration.、Um, well, the regeneration from Blight helping out so quickly. We are going to be going into a Torin Chieftain as that follow-up hero by Focus, as the Torin Chieftain and Farseer are, are really going to be trying to lead an army. But I think this army is going to be much more unit-based than hero-based, at least for a little while longer. We are going into Wind Riders, and as long well, the timing is going to be strange because there are going to be Crypt Fiends out onto the field. But whether or not Web has been researched, oh excuse me, yeah, Web has been researched, I have not. Been able to keep track of that yet. Death Knight not making its way over here. If the Wind Riders are able to deal a significant amount of damage, or if the Far Seer along with the Torin Chieftain and, and those Spirit Wolves are able to clear out a lot of heavy creep camps, this may be the strategy that Focus is trying to go for. And、um, utilizing what is normally an advantage, you can you can see right there, big stomp across multiple units. However, we do not see. Um, the healing salves as of yet. Hey, Mad Frog, how are you doing? Spirit Wolves now coming back down in as well. The Null Brute will get taken down. Not,、um, yep, as the Null Overseer will get finished off here. We are looking at a level two Death Knight, level one Lich, Crypt Fiends moving out. Thirty-six supply. Web is already being researched in addition to light armor upgrades. Um, we'll we'll see whether or not the Wind Riders will be able to make much of it. All right, Farsi, you're already being forced to retreat. Crypt Fiends most likely spot the all of、uh, the Wind Riders and happy that he is currently getting that web upgrade. Is the web upgrade done? It looked like it had been started. So unless he canceled it, it should already be done. Meaning those Crypt Fiends will be able to pluck those Wind Riders out of the sky. Voodoo Lounge now in play as well. Focus is going to be in a bit of trouble, not able to buy. Oh、well, no, he was able to buy some healing salves, something that he desperately needs on his Farseer and Torin Chieftain. And all he can really hope to do is just、um, lay back and wait right now. The War Mill upgrades has not started on for that fortified armor, and once again, you're going to see this Orc Burrow just get absolutely well picked apart in a matter of seconds. Repairs are trying to get underway. Death Coil heals a Crypt Fiend. There is some wind.、Uh, well, Crypt Fiend's trying to finish off. That here as the poking damage. Well, another round of Wind Riders have come out. Let's take a look. Big stomp across multiple units. Chain Lightning trying to figure out as the Wind Riders are focusing back and forth. Where are the Wind Riders going to go next? Torn Chieftain, Frost Armor, or yeah, Frost Armor making it difficult for the Torn Chieftain to try and engage. Crypt Fiend still be able to poke apart many of these units as the Orc Burrow looks like it will get taken down. There's a big stomp right there, but the Torin Chieftain is well stuck between. Well, no, no longer stuck. A Crypt Fiend seemed to get out of the way for him as the Kodo Beast is trying to eat that one low hit point Crypt Fiend. There goes a Ghoul. Torin Chieftain now be forced to retreat all the way back. Kodo Beast will get taken down. Now level three on that Death Knight. All right, 42 supply compared to 44, slight advantage for the undead. Meanwhile, the Wind Riders have not really been able to fight all that much as we see the Orc Burrow get taken down. Upside down on supply means no new units can be trained. As the Death Knight continues to lead this army, slowly but surely picking off units one at a time. This may be a problem. A new orc burrow needs to be added. It is being constructed in the back, all the way across here. Meanwhile, and any time you try to engage that wind rider, or, or may get em webbed down, and then you're kind of forced to fight in this spot, which may not be very good for you. Let's take a look. Obsidian statues now joining on this fight. Kodo beast are desperately, desperately trying to eat something, but they are not able to eat very much. There you go. All of a sudden, two kodo beasts are digesting units, and the wind riders may have a chance now.
double Kodo Beast across the field as we are looking at the Wind Riders. Perhaps they be, should be trying to back off here as the Crypt Fiends are now looking to get taken down as well. Level 2 now on the Lich. What is going to end up happening? Torrent Chieftain doesn't have that much mana. Unable to finish off those units here as the Farseer is still giving a bit of a chase. Meanwhile, back down to the south. Nothing happening. Torrent Chieftain desperately trying to finish off. There goes one Crypt Fiend. A second Crypt Fiend almost gets taken down as the Death Coil is just on time. All right, Farseer now, well, being forced to run all the way back here. What is going on? The Torrent Chieftain to perhaps try to purposely hold back all of those units. Spirit Wolves now being summoned up. Squirrel of Town Portal used in time as the Kodo Beasts now make their way back over. Death Knight desperately trying to shift back down to put pressure before the Torrent Chieftain can heal back up. We don't know oh, the Voodoo Lounge was trying to be rebuilt. Kodo Beast, and it is really turning into a match of hungry, hungry Kodos two Kodos eating up two Crypt Fiends, and while that is happening, there are two more hungry Crypt Fiends as well. Kodo Beasts are generally not. I, I replete uh, um, some some replay of 120. All right, Death Coil finishes off the Torrent Chieftain there. The Death Knight walks around. You see that the Voodoo Lounge was trying to be rebuilt, but a free and easy kill on the Torrent Chieftain is now going to freeze focus in in his tracks at least for now army of kodo beast one of the downsides of kodo beast though is the fact that well they do not get any um any of the upgrades you can take a look here they, they cannot get weapons or armor upgrades and that is an issue we are taking a look at four ice trolls now getting taken down farseer sitting at level three as the farseer does picked up rune bracers sell some items and may try to heal back up again an army of of Kodo Beast. Are, is it going to be enough to try and defend against all of these Crypt Fiends Obsidian statues? That is a question right now as, well, Lich getting healed back up. Ice Troll still doing a bit of damage back as the Death Knight gets up to level 4. Lich stays at level 3. Level... I can't tell. Level 1 Unholy Aura, not level 2. I don't know if he went for Death Pack yet. We'll have to keep a sharp lookout for what ability that Death Knight trained up once he got to level 4. Alright, let's take a look. Is it still... Nope, still Unholy Aura level 1. Lich is still nearby. I believe it's probably going to be a Frost Nova level 2 as, Fro as Frost Armor is sitting at level 1 still. Back off to the north. Wind Riders going after units. Kodo Beasts are out onto the field. Farseer down to 188 hit points. Has to be very careful. Down to 52 hit points. Going to go ahead and heal back up. And what is going on? That Farseer dangerously low on hit points. A Death Knight could just come by with a Death Coil, deliver it, and deal all of the necessary damage. Meanwhile, Torrin Chieftain sitting at level 2, nearly at level 3. We see a reveal there from that Crystal Ball. The Crystal Ball acting like Farsight. Except taking up an item slot as opposed to taking up a hero skill. Okay, War Drum's damage increased. So now everything is dealing a little bit more damage as well. Wind Riders are in the air. They have 2 bonus armor, but no weapons upgrades as of yet. Are undead WFZ sitting at 53 supply compared to 49 no real advantage for WFZ yet I would actually say focus has the advantage as he is currently harvesting th uh, what Om almost about 40% more gold than his opponent back down to the south here orc burrows are all lined up ready to go ready to break into low upkeep once he feels like he has enough gold in the bank to do so we are also finally looking at the reinforced defenses to have fortified armor that is going to be incredibly important as we now take a look at the engagement all right dark ranger trying to do a little bit of damage frost nova across multiple units slowing things down web does take them down farseer torrent chieftain is he going to put his foot down he is unable to he cannot speak at all there's the torrent chieftain a big stomp across multiple units and kodo beasts are going to eat and run low hit point kodo is going to eat and run right there however that kodo beast gets taken down after it was engaged 45 supply compared to 55 is it going to be enough crypt fiends are getting taken down are we going to perhaps see another stomp come across there's a chain lightning Torrent Chieftain, well, in a dangerous spot, now sits at level 3 still. Are we going to see a stomp? Yes, we are. There goes one Crypt Fiend. Another Crypt Fiend could get taken down. There it goes. Frost Nova, Death Coil, onto a Kodo Beast. Kodo Beast looks like it's going to get taken down as well as both sides taking heavy, heavy casualties. 
All right, Windriders in the back here. One Crypt Fiend is all that it takes to try, uh, to really put pressure here. Kodo Beast eating or, or trying to get away. Is he going to be able to get away from all of these ghouls? That's a problem there. Kodo Beast, what is he doing? He's fighting back. That is not the spot he wants to be fighting on. But at the same time, what else can really be done? Farseer looking to engage. There's a Death Coil finishing off a Peon. Fighting still going back and forth. Wind Riders are still looking to engage here as the Skeletal Minions are going to end up getting taken down. More and more Wind Riders going to fight once again. Fortified armor on the Orc Burrows. It looks as though, yeah, Crypt Fiend was able to make its way back out, but all of a sudden gets aggroed by the creeps. Are we going to see a boulder? No, I do not think so, as we are still fighting its way through here. Crypt Fiend may get taken down. Boulder not getting thrown down there as the Death Knight now goes after a Wind Rider. Split action across multiple multiple locations as one Wind Rider does get taken out. Death Knight now sits at level 4. Death Coil. No, Death Pack. That was a Death Pack on the Death Knight, enabling him to get a little bit more hit points as it looks as though the Destroyer may get taken down. No! The Wind Riders broke chase long enough for the Death Knight to get the Death Coil off. Alright, Death Knight now sets up that level 5. And with that said... WFZ should have enough of an advantage to win here. Holding a, what, an 11 supply advantage, a level 5 Death Knight, Ring of Regeneration, triple Obsidian statues. So those destroyers should be able to absorb mana. And once these bestiaries are taken down, that may be the end of it. All right, Windriders making their way forward, trying to finish off some of those destroyers. One destroyer now taken down, uh, going after some more units. All right, can the, is it going to try and devour magic? It looks like it did try to devour magic again. Windrider in trouble, down to 97 hit points. And WFZ takes the game. All right, a little bit of a curious unfolding there. I thought WFZ had the advantage, but Focus was starting to fight his way back again only to see focus um, end up giving the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.